guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a really quick and easy makeup to help any of you guys that have either got to do a school run really quickly or you're simply going back to work. It's got to be practical and it's got to be quick because none of us have any time in the morning. Um, I'm going to take the uh, Bleach London Galaxia, which is this lovely new product and it's basically got a bit of sheen to it, so it's kind of an oil. Um, you might have seen quite a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube doing this, but basically what I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit on my cheeks and on my forehead. And this is just to blend in your foundation. Now, you can either use it with your foundation first, or I just simply pat it into my skin like this. And then the foundation that I'm going to use is the Bare Minerals Pro. Um, this one is in number 19, Toffee. I'm quite dark at the moment. I'm only going to use a couple of pumps of this. This is a kind of semi-matte foundation, hence the reason I've used the elixir, the kind of um, oil to begin with. And I'm just going to simply just pat that on with uh, my complexion sponge. I don't want a massive amount, but I just want a little bit to give me a nice coverage. So I'm just using the sponge just to pat that all in, just so it gives me a really nice even tone. Next up, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. This one is from Rodel. Uh, it's in number two Malibu. This is a little concealer. I'm just going to apply that with my finger and just pop that on. I'm just patting it in with my finger as well, just to really lift that under eye area. I'm going to use a um, HD Brows um, pencil and this one is in, what number are you? Uh, this is Vamp. It's a very, very teeny weeny little pencil. And I'm just going to simply just draw in my eyebrows. Don't want too much but I have noticed that one eyebrow is a lot bigger than the other. Um, so I'm just doing very fine hair movements. Next up, eyes, super easy and quick. I'm gonna use the new color from Nude Sticks. I love this brand and this is in taupe. It's a beautiful brownie shade and it comes in a chubby stick like this so it's also really easy for you to use. And I'm simply just gonna run that all over my eye. If you've got particularly oily lids, then you might want to put an eyeshadow primer on. Um, but these are pretty good themselves. Again, not really using, not really going to use a brush. Just literally, simply use my fingers. Just really blend that in. Wish wash, wish wash. It's a lovely colour this because it's not too heavy. So um, you know, even very pale skin will look really lovely. And it's kind of a grey. Well, it's a taupey colour, but it's it, it will look kind of more grey on certain people. Um, but it's super easy to use. Um, anyone can use this and they last for ages. I'm going to take a little bit under my eye as well. So super easy, I mean it's a really gorgeous, lovely, it's matte as well so there's no sheen to it so it would be really good if you're at work and stuff, you don't want to wear too much shimmer. Um, I'm really into my mattes at the moment, I just think it looks really pretty, it looks really sophisticated. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply a little bit of mascara. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara on top and bottom because I find with the top and bottom lashes this is just going to really help widen and open your eyes. Because I'm not putting any eyeliner on, I just want to keep it super clean. Um, this will just really help make your eyes really pop. The mascara that I'm trying out at the moment is the Marc Jacobs one. Uh, I'm not sure what. Velvet Noir Noir Major Lash. I've literally got a little sample. I got one the other day when I went into John Lewis um, and I really like this mascara actually. So it gives quite a dramatic lash instantly. The only thing I would say is in the tester ones, I don't know if it's right for the real one, um, but um, quite a lot of product comes out, so you do need to kind of wipe it off on the um, thing, which is a bit annoying. Um, but I really like this mascara and I would definitely go and buy it now. Right, so that's a little bottom and top lash. So nothing too much, nothing too heavy, super, super quick and easy, guys. Boom, get it done in seconds. Now you guys all know how much I love my cream blushes. Um, I'm going to use this one. This is from Smashbox. This is Blendable Cheek and Lip Colour. Um, great, actually, for if you are going to work and things like that. Um, something like this is amazing because you can pop it in your handbag, super easy to travel with, blah blah blah. And also, the great thing about this is that you can then use it in the evening as a really bright coloured pink because it's super bright. I don't really want to wear it as a daytime lip colour. Um, you can matte it out and it's really pretty, but um, today I'm going to use something else. But I will show you what it looks like on the lips. So maybe if you're kind of going out in the evening, I can show you just how to kind of jazz it up a little bit. But I mean, the smallest amount of colour on your cheeks, I mean, it's really high pigmented. So the kind of, you know, you don't need a lot to get a really good colour. 
Right guys, I'm done with all my creams. I've just finished my cream blusher and I'm going to put a little bit of powder on just to set it all and then I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use the Kiko Invisible Powder, Invisible Touch Powder that I love. Just in areas that I need a little bit of matting out. And then I'm just going to dust that off. This is a Real Techniques B02 brush. Just blend that out a little bit. Takes away any shine. Great, so I'm gonna finish off with a teeny bit of a bronzing powder, uh, just to give myself a little bit more zhuzh. And the bronzing powder that I'm absolutely loving at the moment, I tried it all um, summer and I just think it's fantastic, is this, it's called XIP. I don't know if you guys have seen this at all, but as you can see, it's got a really nice matte, pat matte uh, bronzer there, then it's got a gorgeous kind of goldy um, highlighter there. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the bronzing powder. I'm taking a Real Techniques number 100 brush. Just popping that on my forehead. Just on my cheeks. I know loads of ladies out there love their bronzer. So this is a really good one. Plus it's got a little bit of a highlighter. So I love two in one. And then again, just using the smaller one, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the sheeny one and just pop that just on the top bits of my cheeks. Okay, and last but not least guys, I'm going to put a little bit of a lip colour on. I'm going to use the new Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Colour in Lilac. I'm in love with these lipsticks. Don't know if you've seen my Instagram, but I'm obsessed with them. Uh, now, this is not normally a colour I go for, guys, at all. I'm not really a purpley, lilac-y kind of person, but this would look amazing on paler skin. But I actually really like the tone of it. Um... They've got such a nice texture. So there you have it guys, super easy and simple. Now I just wanna quickly show you that if you did wanna take it into a slightly heavier one, I'm just gonna blot off this. Actually, I'll show you what this lipstick looks like just blotted off. So if you're having a cup of tea or coffee or whatever, look at the nice stain that it leaves. It really does leave you with a, like a really pretty kind of lilac color, super easy. But if you did wanna use um, your Smashbox cheek color, I'm just gonna show you how bright it can be. Now, I'm not being funny, I like that, but a lot of people won't because it's too much. But again, you can mat it off and then you're left with a really pretty stain as well. So there you go guys, a super easy, quick five minute makeup. You can do it while the kids are having their breakfast, just before the school run, or you can simply do this on the train as well. I know it's a few random products, but as I said, you can mix and match it with your own, but it's just a really simple technique. And I guarantee you guys are gonna look amazing wearing it. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page, and I will see you very soon. Mwah. Have a great day. Tonight, I celebrate my love for you. Where did that song come from? Love that song. Oh, classic.